Hi there. Now in this question, we're asked to first of all find the integral of x squared minus 2x plus 5 with respect to x and then go on and hence find the equation of the curve for which dy dx equals x squared minus 2x plus 5 and which passes through the point 3, 11. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, for the first part, it's just a basic integration. We don't have to change any of the values. The format is just right. So we've got x squared minus 2x plus 5. And we've got to integrate all of this with respect to x. So for terms like this, all we do is add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So we get x cubed over 3. And then for minus 2x, add 1 to the power. So it's minus 2x squared and then divide by the new power 2. And for the constant, plus 5, just multiply it by x. But do remember to put plus c or any other letter for your constant of integration. And if we tidy this up, we've got the first term is still x cubed divided by 3. But for this second term, those two 2's cancel, just leaving us with minus x squared. And then we've got plus 5x and then plus c, the constant of integration. Now for the second part, it says hence find the equation of the curve for which dy dx equals x squared minus 2x plus 5, and which passes through the point with the coordinates 3, 11. Now to do this part, what we've got to do is essentially integrate our differential equation here. If we integrate both sides with respect to x, what we're going to have here is y. And then on this side, we're going to have our result here. So what we've got then is that y equals x cubed over 3 minus x squared plus 5x plus c. And we've just got to work out that constant c. And to do that, we know that when x equals 3, y will equal 11 since this point lies on our curve. It must satisfy the equation. So if we just say here then, when x equals 3, we know that y equals 11. And if I number this equation, say 1, all we need to do is sub these results here into 1. So sub in equation 1. And what we've got then is that therefore 11 for y equals 3 cubed divided by 3, okay, 3 cubed divided by 3, minus 3 squared, and then plus 5 times 3, and then plus c. So if we just border this off and come down here, so therefore what we've got is 11 equals, and here we've got 3 cubed, which is 27 divided by 3, which is going to be 9. 9 minus 9 here, that's 0. So we've just got 5 threes of 15 plus c. And if I take 15 from both sides, I therefore have c equals 11 minus 15, which is going to be minus 4. So I can just substitute the constant c back into equation 1, OK? Into 1. And if I do that, I end up with the equation y equals x cubed over 3 minus x squared plus 5x. And then for plus c, we just have minus 4. Okay.